Many Nigerians struggle to afford drugs, resort to herbs. As inflation continues to rise amidst an existing cost of living crisis in Nigeria, as with many other necessary commodities, the cost of healthcare in Nigeria has skyrocketed. And this is due to a combination of several factors, which has left many patients struggling to afford essential medications. Nigeria as a country heavily relies on imported drugs, accounting for about 70% of its pharmaceutical needs. The sharp rise in drug prices is linked to the free fall of the Nigerian Naira against foreign currencies, particularly the US dollar. In October 2023, Nigeria's inflation rate stood at 27.33%, the highest recorded since August 2005 with the prices of drugs surging by 30% to 500% in six months. Specific categories are heat hard, antibiotics, antihistamine, antihypertensives, anti-diabetic medications, pregnant care, blood tonics and infusions, which have seen a staggering 500% increase. Cancer patients, pregnant women, and those with chronic illnesses are particularly affected by these rising costs. I'm so many heavies. My daughter said, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. If you say, I will leave here. I will leave here. You can, you can say no. I will, I will say no. But I'm not happy. I will see here. So if you get that. I'm going to come back. Yeah, can I can't go home. So if you get that two million, you can leave here. If I leave here, if I leave, I'm leaving here. If I leave here, I'm leaving here to my house. Go to my family. So how about your family? They are not able to raise the fund. They are not able to raise the fund. No, cannot raise it because my job is so. That first person I came here. The Consumer Price Index (CPI) for July 2022 revealed a 19.64 percent inflation rate the highest since 2005. The withdrawal of GSK, a major player in the pharmaceutical industry, has also contributed to this crisis. Actually, I am not less than 42 years old in this field. And by virtue of my experience, this is a new development. The drug business now, it is entering into the state of emergency because of the level of the price and changes which runs concurrently every second and every minute. It is very unfortunate that it is true that many companies that have been in this country have left this country firstly because of light to taxation. And as a result of it, they went to the nearest borders like Ghana, but they have not been established yet. They are trying to re-establish themselves. Yet. The dollar too has played this role. So from my personal experience and what we are seeing today, the price of the drug has entered into crisis period. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if the government has discussed it there in the house and maybe declared it. But it's common to all, both the consumers, the importers, and, the, and we, the, the with this stunning increase in prices of medication and missed a struggle to stay healthy, many Nigerians have turned to herbal medications. I was going for orthodox drugs, but it's so expensive, I can't afford it. So I took to herbs, and that is working very well. And I used to have ulcer and stomach ache, you know, all that, and fever, malaria. So I started taking this, which is the herbs. And it's helping me so much. The orthodox drugs is too expensive now. I can't afford it. But this is affordable then, and I'm using it very well, and it's okay for me. It cured my ulcer and the stomach ache, and now I'm fine. So that's why I continue using it. So I recommend it for every other person that has any other ailments, fever, malaria, stomach ache, whatever, body pains. You use the herb, it's cheaper. As I do to say this in Nigeria now, drug don't they hurt. So I can't look and say, ah, my jedi, people come, they, they come, they buy my, they get customer regular. So not say, but it's my jedi, now they okay. They work anything, they work for infection, work for malaria, anything, you understand? So I can't say that they get more customer because Nigeria now, something don't hurt.
my own regular customer, they give them normal normal. But for those who they come, they go. And that's why they give them because the jedi is very, very okay and it's nice. When you test this, you like it. A significant devaluation of the Naira has further exasperated inflationary pressures on imported goods, including medicines. The combination of currency fluctuations, inflation, and the exit of pharmaceutical giants has created a dire situation for Nigerians in need of affordable drugs. Urgent measures are needed to address this critical issue to ensure access to life-saving medications.